It's a great day for couples painting with Patty and John from Patricia's Art Emporium. Today I'm working with a 12 by 12 canvas, white canvas that I've put white paint all over and I'm going to be doing a pour through this colander. All right. Let's get to it. because you can't see anything so I don't know what's going on lunch and supper lunch and waiter oh okay sure this is a clean one Oh, I probably should tell you the colors. Uh, green. Basics Bright Aqua Green. That's been in there already. The Folk Art Purple Flash Color Shift is in there. The Apple Barrel Gloss Medallion Yellow I put in. Now I'm going to put in uh, some Cobalt Blue from Artist Loft. Now I'm going to put in, um, I think I'll try some silver. This is my first time trying this, so I have no idea what's going to happen. As usual, even when I think I know what's going to happen, it doesn't always happen. I'm going to so. wear their colors. I can't tell you that. I'm trying to see what it looks like. Kind of just looks like a blob of stuff, to be honest. I'm only peeking a little bit. Because I can only see a little bit. Okay. Then I used um, folk art. Silver, Apple Barrel, Pure Pink, Apple Barrel, Tropic Orange, Color Shift Blue, um, I didn't use these two, but I'll mix them in with the others in a second. Just gonna try to let that go down a little bit. <clears throat> It'll be interesting when I have to pull it up. <laughs> what are you thinking, John? You're thinking something. Well, I'm just thinking that it's not gonna escape there. Maybe it should have been lifted off the canvas just a little bit with something. Oh, uh, probably. Maybe a couple toothpicks or something underneath it, and then you can pick them up and move them. Well. Something like that. It's just an experiment, so I don't know. 
Maybe I'll use this and mush it all around. This is a um, Betty Crocker um, basting brush. I can always add stuff to it when try try something different. Maybe if I blow on it, will it go out? Will it go through <laughs> more? You want to use this thing? I was oh, going to use, use this. this. Yeah, I was going to use this. Use this to go around like that. And yeah, but you want to make mush? Oh, just stick it. There you go. There you go. Of course, you could just fill it up, and then when you lift it up, it'll run out. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up, see what I got. Well, you, you, you got to have enough to pour, so as long as there's enough paint in there to pour that whole canvas. Well, I can just add. How are you going to do that? What do you mean? How are you going to do that Because it's not going to be a shape of any kind, probably. It looks like it's just a blob of colors. It doesn't look like it's... Well, I'd be pouring a lot more paint. you pour, you got to pour nothing, almost a whole jar of that paint. Yeah, is know, it filled up yet? What do you mean? Is it filled all the way to the outside? No. No. No, you got a lot more to go. You got at least twice as much as you have in there already. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I might just use the basting brush and move it around oh, I see, and I see. stuff. Yeah. Okay, maybe you got to fill it first, don't you? Or no? I'll put a little more, but I'm not gonna. You're painting. Is it? I think so. <laughs> I would never know that. Oh, you're such a wise guy. You can do it off the sides too. I would do it over the side, let it drip down there too. Let it get all drippy all over the place. Maybe not. I don't know. Mm, interesting to see. New Year's Eve and it's 80 degrees. You want to stop it for a second and let this go in? I don't want people having to watch nothing. Ready? Mm -hmm. Is it on? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. I'm, in, I'm too impatient here. I'm going to lift this up, see what I have, see what I got to do. Wish me good luck. Oh, nice. You got lots of cells. You put the like silicone there? Mm, no. Oh. I like that. 
like that the way to go like that. Yeah. Yeah, just stop it like that. There you go. That's cool. I got all that metallic. I can see all that metallic. Nice. You want this? I got it for you. I got it. Thanks. I don't think I needed to add much more paint. No, no. You were right. I was wrong. I just want to get that. Just little poppers you got around. Yeah. Look at sometimes it's here, I think it's oh, yeah, there you go. sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone of what colors you use because um yeah, that's nice. I mean these colors I think they look pretty good and um they're colors that I normally wouldn't think to use together. I like this right here. So I'm not going to tilt it anymore. I think that looks kind of cool there. Um, yeah, it looks nice. There's nothing that says you have to have anything certain on your sides or that you have to have the paint flow over or anything. Um, you know, there's some dripping. It does have a lot of cells. It's got a lot of shine to it. I was kind of dreading doing this because the last two um, projects that I did, I'm really not that happy with. So I was really hesitating doing another one. But when you're when you're down and out, <laughs> you know, just keep going. The only way to get better and to enjoy it more is to do more. So I'm really happy with this one, and that's unusual for me to say. Now, how it dries, I don't know. But I don't have any neon in it, so I'm hoping it's going to dry good. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Okay, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Go to our eBay channel. Uh, go to eBay under John Him. Check out the paintings that we have there. Um... Thank you for watching. This is Patricia's Art Emporium saying goodbye for now. Peace.